once again welcome back this video is exclusively for karnataka because this video will tell you how to get encumbrance certificate online in karnataka from 2023 onwards we had already pushed a lot of videos to do the same but all those things are now obsolete because the website has been ag upgraded now this is 2.0 version of kaveri online portal previously it was an older website so let us see how this can be done and please remember friends this is valid for any property across karnataka whether it's agriculture or non agriculture city limit or village limit i'm just going to show you this uh, please watch the above link first to get registered in this portal okay i'm not showing the registration part here okay you watch the previous video to know how to get it registered link would have already come on top this is the url of new kaveri 2.0 portal in link video description i have given this link okay friends you can get that link from video description i am doing this from my mobile so in mobile if you refresh there is no login option at all i'll tell you how this can be resolved on pc or laptop you can easily get this option but in mobile you will not get for that you have to do one thing i am using chrome okay google chrome here you click on the right top three dot icon here okay you can see an uh, right top uh, three dot uh, icon scroll down and enable desktop site option okay friends only when you enable this you can get the login option in mobile okay so i would say please enable this otherwise you can do this from a laptop or pc so i'm, I'm just clicking the desktop site option automatically the site gets refreshed and as you can see here now it is equal to desktop view and if you scroll down it's a detail view and you can also see register or login button here so this one you have to do if you are doing from mobile okay friends so let us click on the login button so as i mentioned you have already registered if not please uh, watch the previous video so i have already username and password here because it's uh, registered by me in this portal username is your uh, email id and password definitely you know enter the captcha and click on login so otp will come to your mobile which is already registered in this portal wait for the otp once the otp comes it's a four digit otp i'm just entering the otp what i received click on login so it's a direct straightforward process to login now let us see how to apply for an encumbrance certificate so there is an option start a new application this is what you are going to click for anything okay because there is no other option here click on start a new application and this is the place you get a lot of application you can get document registration encumbrance certificate certified copy so i'll uh, show you in different video you can watch it uh, how to get your uh, sale deed copy online that is also possible now i'm going to click on the encumbrance certificate option because this video is only for making encumbrance certificate online in karnataka 2023 so this is the option you can read through this this is the prerequisites click on continue now when you are in this page you have got two options first let us see the search by property number option okay there are two options we i'll show you or i'll tell you both option let us think of the uh, first option search by property number here what are the things you need to know these details will be in your sale deed or in your previous encumbrance certificate first you have to select the district in karnataka as you can see almost all the district are available what is the difference between kaveri 2.0 and 1.0 uh, 1.0 and 2.0 is in 2 1.0 previous portal there was bangalore urban option and bangalore rural option but here you can see bangalore rural is there but there is no specific option for bangalore urban so what do you do for getting uh, like city limits of bangalore how to apply for easy i'll show you that so for that let us uh, see how to get bangalore urban option here bangalore city limit option now what is the difference is under the district they have given for example see bangalore rural directly will tell you all the rural areas devanalli dodabalapura so when you click on bangalore rural you should know basically uh, what are the uh, details of property you are looking for so all these are bangalore rural option okay so if it is bangalore urban then definitely you have to select each area for example if you select basavangudi then under basavangudi what are the taluk comes it will be listed here okay friends so this is the difference between the previous version and this version a little bit confusing but you can be used to that now you can see here when i select gandhinagar i get gandhinagar and uh, elanka option when i select jayanagar here you can see bangalore south jayanagar all these options are available here okay friends so uh, you can see here jayanagar if i am selecting 
I get the taluks under Jayanagar and if I am selecting Rajaji Nagar, Bangalore North it comes. So Bangalore South, North, East all these options are available. For example, you select Shivaji Nagar, you get Bang Bangalore East option. See here. Okay. So this way you find out uh, which is the area be you belong to, which district and accordingly you can try selecting each district and then click on Taluk and see whether your Taluk is available. For example, if you wanted to search any property which is in Bangalore South option, I have to select Jayanagar. And then I said select Bangalore South and under Taluk. And Hobli also I should know. It's a Begur Hobli 1, 2. These details will be in your previous EC or in your sale date. Okay. If you are not knowing these things, please uh, uh, do me a message in Instagram. I can help you out. And you have to select the village finally. You should know which is the village un under your Hobli. This detail should be known to you. Otherwise, it's not easy to search. And this should not be wrong. Then your property will not be, search will not be success. Now friends as you can see here next one is the property type if it in agriculture you have to select agriculture if it in non agriculture then you have to select non agriculture this is uh, actually your land okay details even if apartment you have to select agriculture or non agriculture now as you can see you select the property uh, id okay there are a lot of options if you are uh, under bda bda number bda pid bbmp pid uh, Kata number or your plot number, site number. So, this will be as per your sale deed copy. Okay, will all those options are available? For example, apartment number, and you have to select apartment number and give the apartment number here. So, it's as per your previous CC or as per your sale deed. Okay, it's a little bit tough. I know I'm not saying it's so easy. Okay, but you should, if you have previous EC or sale deed, it's very easy. Just look at that and even boundary details will be measure, uh, mentioned in your uh, sale deed. Now you have to select square feet or square meter of your property. Usually smaller properties will be square feet. For example, 1500 square feet you can give like this. Or if it's a bigger property, it will be square meters. You can give it. Now the period of search. This is very, very important friends. If you do mistake here, your search will fail. Uh, always give period of search from the date of your registration of the, your property okay do not give any date before that then it will not be available in your name right so it should be on or after i prefer you make uh, uh, set the same date where you registered the property here and two date you can select just one day before today don't select the same day just select one or two days before the current date and then click on the search now when you click on search right so if your options are proper you get it if you need any help please uh, ping me in instagram instagram link is in the video link with your details i can help you out but don't post your direct details on uh, youtube that will be publicly viewed now we have seen the first option now let us see the second option this is also an option if you are not knowing complete property details if you know only party name like seller purchaser then this is the option okay if you select this option again the same process you have to select district taluk and hobli or town and village this is the same option okay only difference is that uh, below we are going to give the person's name instead of property details this is the only difference otherwise the property identification remains the same now under party details you can give name of the person so you can give only first name no need to give uh, middle name last name if you are not aware of you can only give the unique first name okay and another point is friends uh, this can be sellers or purchasers or uh, cla uh, claimant name so it can be anyone's name it's not mandatory you have to give your name only if you bought from someone you can give that person's name also i would say give names that such a way that if it is a unique name it will be easily identified now from and to date you uh, fill it here and click on search button now friends this is very very important okay once you search, if you are getting something like form 16, Namune 16, it says, that means your search is failed. So simple. Do not proceed. Okay. I have seen previous video under people have done mistake. They get form 16. So form 16 clearly says that your easy so and so it was not available actually. But if you go and proceed, you are wasting your money. Do not do that. Please go back and uh, modify your search. Modify either apartment number or something may be wrong. Okay. Search again with a prominent thing you can ping me in instagram if you uh, have an issue i'll help you out now if your search is proper if you have searched properly you can see here it will come as 17 form 17 it will come you can see here form 17 just meant that you got a correct search your easy search was success 
if you scroll down you can see the details also it will say the date when from when to when you are searching and if you scroll down as you can see here at the bottom you can uh, see the complete easy details now you are going to proceed click click on these two check boxes and click on proceed enable two check boxes okay before that you read through your EC details definitely your name and other things will be displayed now first you are going to make payment for making the payment friends in this case in my case what I searched for as you can see here 10 rupees 40 rupees search fee and total 50 rupees so this can vary it's not that every time you get 50 rupees it depends on your location of the property it depends on how what is the search window whether you are searching 5 years 10 years 20 years so it, accordingly it when uh, it can increase or come to up to 50, 150 rupees also okay so now click on make payment option once you click on make payment continue option will be there definitely you click on continue so i will show you the best option to pay okay select this option this will be better for you select next net banking first and here instead of direct integration with bank you select sbi epay just select it okay this is the best option i find is easy also after that enter the captcha and uh, check uh, click on the two check boxes basically accept the conditions and click on the submit button make sure a zero or all this uh, should be correct otherwise captcha will be invalid now you click on proceed and it will go to sbi epay but don't worry it's not mandatory that you should have an sbi account if you scroll down you can see there is even upi okay so upi is there google pay is there paytm is there whatsapp is there everything is there so select this option you, you can also alternatively select internet banking but i would say people now are uh, very much comfortable with google pay upi and other stuff enter your upi id here you should have something uh, your name at uh, uh, access or uh, icici whatever so enter your uh, upi id here you should know this and after that click on validate upi id only when your upi id is correct it is going to get enabled for example you can see here pay now it get enabled and you get a green checkbox there because your upi id is valid now click on pay now option it will uh, give you a pop-up of uh, timer you should complete this process within three minutes okay friends please make sure see i already got a notification i'm going to my google pay app because i have given google pay option for example if someone has given any other option they can go to open that app paytm or whatever and pay there once you pay there automatically this uh, page get refreshed as you can see here and you get a transaction receipt also you can print and download the uh, payment uh, receipt but make sure you click on the return to application also after downloading return to application sometimes it may get logged out don't worry you can log in again okay friends and scroll down and you can see here your ec application is ready for e-sign okay this is the application i have already uploaded previously this is an old one don't mind it in your case first time you if you are applying it will be like this ready to e-sign okay if you have any other button first you can click there before clicking e-sign but if everything is okay e-sign will be there now click on e-sign option okay once you click on e-sign option you are going to sign it so if your payment was half done it will uh, not show this option you have to pay again if your payment was success and uh, something happened you can uh, click on uh, make payment option and get it done before e-sign okay so this will be taken care properly there is no issue with that now we are going to Aadhaar number OTP generated e-signing I am doing so basically so by default Aadhaar number will be enabled give your Aadhaar number here and click on uh, definitely Aadhaar OTP should be enabled and get click on get OTP that means you are signing this using your Aadhaar uh, signing technique now if you wait you can see uh, OTP comes to your mobile which is linked with Aadhaar okay friends remember that uh, this mobile or whatever mobile you have uh, linked with Aadhaar that mobile receives the OTP so now you have to get that OTP, give the OTP and click on submit button. Okay. This is the process of e-signing. Once you do this, your e-signing is complete. Definitely your payment was already complete. Click on submit. It will take a little bit, some seconds. And after that, you can see here, it page get refreshed. Anytime it is logged out, you have to log in again. Okay. Please remember that. Scroll down till end. It is not yet done. You have done e-sign, but you have not submitted now you have to click on submit don't forget this friends please even if after uh, e-signing you have to submit otherwise your application will not be sent okay it's not that you just e-sign and it is done 
now once you submit the button will be there only it will not get refreshed don't worry about that once you click on submit go back scroll up click on home button anytime if it is logged out like this sometimes in between it may log out don't worry that just log in it will be saved now i have logged in again as you can see here uh, my uh, easy application says it's allocated to the officer okay so this actually speaking i have done with my process i have paid i have e-signed it now what is remaining is only waiting for this to be done so usually it takes one to two weeks previously now i don't know i'll tell you i'll publish another video once it is ready to download i'll show you how to get it download and e-sign also but let us wait one week or two weeks or sometimes maybe two to three days also okay thank you so much please proceed with this process if you have any issue please ping me in instagram also you can post a message here that you have sent the details in instagram i'll be happy to help you with my time available thank you so much See you with another informative video.